his uh, middle name that is uh, Nairugo, he changed it to Samuel. So with that passport and the local numbers, they began, the police there began to work for us for the past over two weeks now. To the glory of God, yesterday 2, 2 a.m. in the night, Benjamin was caught. He has never bragged that he can never enter a cough. He's on a cough. Nigerians, do what? This is the story of Augusta Ostian, a 21-year-old student at Leed University in Nigeria. Augusta had a bright future and was in a three-year relationship with Benjamin Best, also known as Killaboy. Their relationship took a tragic turn in July 2023 when a heated argument led to Augusta being fatally stabbed by Benjamin. This shocking incident left Augusta's family devastated, seeking justice for their daughter. Despite Benjamin's confession on social media, he's on the run, avoiding accountability for the crime. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Lagos State, Nigeria, a vibrant and bustling city. Our tale unfolds in the Oral Estate, Aja area. Now, let's talk about Augusta Ostian, the person at the center of our story. She was a 21-year-old college student at Leed University in a different state called Oyo. Augusta was full of life, always laughing and being kind to others. She was a hard-working student who had big dreams for her future. Everyone loved her for her warm and cheerful personality. Her story is a sad reminder of how violence can take away someone's potential. Augusta was a well-known social media influencer who had more than 100,000 followers on Instagram. With over 100,000 followers, she had become a popular figure in the world of social media. Her posts were a blend of high-end fashion, exquisite beauty tips, and awe-inspiring travel adventures. She often showcased her impeccable sense of style, with photos of her in stunning outfits that left her followers in awe. Augusta's beauty tips and makeup tutorials were a hit, and her followers eagerly awaited her posts for the latest trends and product recommendations. But there was another side to Augusta's life. She had been in a relationship with a man named Benjamin for three long years. He was known as Killaboy. While from the outside, it seemed like a typical relationship, their love story, however, had its dark moments. Reports suggest that there were some arguments and problems in their relationship, and some people said that there might have been abuse in their relationship, but the exact details are not very clear. One fateful day in July 2023, Augusta and Benjamin had a terrible argument. It was so distressing that Augusta decided to call her mother, Cordelia, for help. She wanted to find a way to mend things, but despite Cordelia's best efforts, the couple couldn't reconcile. As days passed, Augusta's mother grew increasingly worried. She couldn't reach her daughter or Benjamin. Something just didn't feel right. She decided to take action and went to Benjamin's home in Oral Estate, Aja. When they arrived, they made a chilling discovery. Augusta's Mercedes-Benz was parked outside the building, but the apartment was locked. Alarmed, Cordelia contacted the police. The police, along with their officers from the Aja division, arrived at the scene. They had to force their way into Benjamin's apartment. What they found inside was a heart-wrenching sight. Augusta's life had been brutally taken, and the apartment bore signs of violence and struggle. To make matters even more disturbing, her female genitalia had been chopped off. Despite her body being in such a bad condition, it was collected for further examination and preservation. Traces of violence and signs of a struggle were visibly present on Augusta's body, painting a distressing picture of the events that had taken place. Moreover, a note, suspected to be from Benjamin, was found at the scene and regarded as vital evidence. To prevent any important details from being missed, the crime scene was taped off, allowing investigators to collect additional evidence. There were plans to transfer the case to the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department in Panty, Yaba, for a more discreet and comprehensive investigation, in the pursuit of justice for Augusta. On the other hand, the main suspect, Benjamin, is currently avoiding the authorities. However, he took to social media to confess to the terrible incident. He posted his confession on his now-deleted Twitter account, at VVS underscore crypt, 
and Instagram. In his posts, Benjamin expressed deep regret for the pain he had caused and the damage he had done. He explained that the terrible series of events had been triggered by pain, betrayal, cheating, and the toxic nature of his relationship with Augusta. Benjamin clarified that none of Augusta's body parts were missing, and nothing had been done intentionally. He described how a fight and an argument had escalated, leading to Augusta using a knife and her being stabbed. He deeply wished that these events had never happened and admitted that fear had driven him to commit this act. He emphasized that he hadn't intended to harm Augusta or violate any part of her body. His words carried the weight of guilt as he expressed his desire to reveal the truth. Benjamin also acknowledged his limited time on earth and the importance of finding peace and acceptance. He also reached out to Augusta's mother, Cordelia, promising to surrender himself to the authorities. Benjamin believed he deserved the most severe consequences, even death, as there was no justification for taking a life. He was determined to be held accountable for his actions. The confessions on social media made the case more complicated, leaving people with questions about the truth, justice, and what would happen next. As the investigation went on, the public kept demanding clarity and accountability. The situation has taken a troubling turn as Benjamin Best has yet to surrender to the authorities, and there has been a noticeable silence from the police department. This has prompted concerned Nigerians to turn to social media, specifically X, formerly known as Twitter, to demand Benjamin's arrest. Augusta's mother, who had stayed quiet until after her daughter's funeral, has now found her voice and is calling for justice. She disclosed that her daughter's murderer is still on the loose, and she is determined to see that justice is served. In response, Benjamin has taken to Instagram to launch a scathing attack on Augusta's mother. He has called her evil and insinuated that Augusta might still be alive if it weren't for her actions. According to Benjamin, Augusta's mother is concealing the truth while pretending to seek justice. He claims she is torn between wanting him to surrender to the police and protecting Augusta's privacy. Benjamin stated that he was finally prepared to share the truth about what happened. He also made a series of shocking allegations, blaming Augusta and her mother for the problems in his relationship with Augusta. He alleged that Augusta and her mother had devised a plan to exploit him financially and that Augusta had attempted suicide after he discovered explicit content on her phone meant to conceal their secret. He claimed that during their argument, Augusta had pulled a knife on him, but he had managed to defend himself. Despite this, he deeply regretted the tragic outcome and took responsibility for his actions. Moreover, Benjamin revealed a voice recording of a conversation with Augusta's mother and a video showing a confrontation between him and Augusta during their relationship. These new developments have added layers of complexity to the case, leaving both the public and investigators dealing with a tangle of conflicting claims and counterclaims. In a significant development, the Sierra Leonean police have arrested Benjamin. This arrest comes after weeks of searching, during which the Lagos State Police Command had declared Nanyarugo wanted for his alleged involvement in the death of the 21-year-old lady. The police had earlier suspected that he had murdered Augusta on July 13, 2023, in his residence at Oral Estate in the Aja area of Lagos State, Nigeria. The police had even declared him wanted, as efforts to apprehend him within Nigeria had proven unsuccessful. However, the Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer, Benjamin Hundian, confirmed the suspect's arrest and mentioned that he was apprehended by the Sierra Leone police force. They are now working on extraditing him back to Nigeria. Nanyarugo was reportedly captured at a nightclub in Freetown, Sierra Leone, on a Friday night. After the alleged murder, he fled to Sierra Leone, where he is said to have spent over $25,000 to obtain a Sierra Leonean passport and alter his identity. He assumed the name Kanu Princeton Samuel. Remarkably, someone in Sierra Leone recognized him from the photos circulated on social media by Augusta's family. His Sierra Leonean passport, issued on July 28, 2023, only weeks after the alleged incident, indicates that he had left Nigeria for more than two months. This information was instrumental in tracking him down. Augusta's brother, in a statement on X, formerly Twitter, disclosed how he collaborated with Sierra Leone's law enforcement agencies to trace and apprehend the fugitive. 
he expressed hope that the Nigerian police force would expedite the extradition process, ensuring that Nanyarugo faces the consequences of his actions. This significant development brings a ray of hope for justice in this tragic case. Augusta was a young woman with a bright future ahead of her. Her tragic death at just 21 years old was a terrible event that never should have occurred. It serves as a painful reminder of how disputes and conflicts can escalate to such extreme and devastating levels. This was a situation that could have been avoided with better understanding and intervention. In this difficult time, it's important to think about what could have been done to prevent this tragedy. Recognizing the warning signs of abusive relationships and providing help and support to those who need it is crucial. Education and awareness are key to preventing such heartbreaking incidents. The loss of Augusta has left her family and loved ones in deep sorrow. They will carry the pain of her absence with them always. This tragedy underscores the urgent need for more awareness and support for those facing domestic violence. My deepest condolences to Augusta's family and friends. May you find peace and justice for Augusta. Thanks for watching the video.